Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're all doing very well today. I'm outside of Istanbul, Turkey today on a little two-day mini vacation. Really needed to get outside of the city because when you day trade so much, and especially for a long period of time, you need to take a little bit of a break before you burn out. And I definitely felt myself burning out, especially after my $74,000 win streak over two weeks, and I only took a $3,000 loss. So after you go on a win streak like that, it's really important for you to just take some time off, maybe refresh yourself, get some that energy back. And it, it's mistakes are bound to happen. And when mistakes are bound to happen, you got to really know when to back off because everybody's going to lose no matter what. It doesn't matter how good of a trader you are. Losses are going to come up. Win streaks don't happen forever. And before those losses do occur, you got to make sure you recognize the signals when you are starting to burn out and especially when you're starting to overtrade. So we're just outside the city at a cute little hotel on top of a river. Our hotel room is right next to the river and it's beautiful. And I think this R&R &R is going to be really good for me to come back even stronger. So let's get into our tactical analysis today. So let's get right into this. Today, we're going to talk about the chandelier exit indicator and do a back test to see how it trended in the past before in previous bull markets and maybe what we can learn in the future from them. So we're pretty much at the same point as we were a few years ago, back in the 2017 and the 2021 bull market. But of course, there are some changes as well. So hi, everybody. Welcome. My name is Philicon. I've been in the crypto space for about eight years now. And my job is to provide you with top tier technical analysis from the perspective of a day trader that's been doing this for literally eight years now. And I've developed so many different strategies and I've made so many mistakes as well. But it's those mistakes that I've made that's actually allowed me to optimize and fine tune these strategies that I have today. And I think without losing so much, I wouldn't be in this position today. A lot of people, they will get into day trading. They're going to make those mistakes and they're going to keep making them over and over. But they don't actually learn from them and they don't tweak them. They don't fine tune. They don't optimize. And when that actually ends up happening, that's where people don't improve as a trader. And if you don't improve as a trader and you don't keep changing your strategies up, because if you make those mistakes and they're not changed, well, the only consistent way to go from there is to keep losing more. And if you keep losing more, well, you're going to be liquidated. You're going to lose all of your capital and eventually you'll be chased out of the game. And that's why so many people don't really make it as a day trader. 99% of the people that try to day trade, they're probably going to fail out. And it's just a matter of optimizing these strategies and especially learning about risk management. How do I minimize the amount that I lose? How many layers of protection should I be having to minimize what I lose? Because if you don't have these layers of protection, you're bound to lose everything that you have eventually. If you think of two different types of traders, one who is leveraging really high, putting everything that they own of their net worth into their actual exchange, and they're using 100% of their capital, and they're leveraging like times five or times 10. They don't really have specific strategies. They're not sticking to a specific risk that they're allocating to each loss. They're gonna let their positions ride. And when they're down a significant amount, they're just gonna hold their position and hope that it reverses. So if you think of that kind of trader versus somebody who focuses on minimizing how much they lose, they have different layers of protection for how much they can lose. They don't keep everything on their exchange. They don't leverage high. They allocate only a small percentage of risk for each trade. For example, one to 2% maximum. They stop themselves out really quickly as well. They have trailing stops. They focus on high risk to reward ratios. They focus on high probability trades. If you compare those two types of traders, which one's going to win long term? It's very obvious that the second one is going to win long term. So thank you very much for joining me today. We're going to go over the Chandler exit indicator, which is one of my favorite indicators. Don't mind me. I'm actually outside right now. I'm wearing my winter jacket. It's about six degrees outside, but it's a beautiful sunny day. And I just felt like getting some air and it's a perfect place to do a technical analysis for you guys. So let's get on with it and talk about the chandelier exit indicator, starting with what it is, first of all. And just to let everybody know, today is now January the 31st, the very last day of the month, which means this is also the very last day you can pick up the ultimate bull market strategy guide. That's the latest course that I've released talking about the exact strategies I'm going to use for this upcoming bull market where I plan to turn $2 million investing to over, hopefully, hopefully over eight figures. Finally, I can reach that milestone. And I talk a lot in detail about moving averages, Elliott wave theory, and also chandelier exit indicators. 
It's over 20 hours and it's definitely a masterclass, like intermediate to advanced type of course. I go over so many of my strategies that I'm going to use. And normally it's $17.49. It's on sale today, the very last day to $10.49 for the ultimate bull market strategy guide and also the lifetime Discord membership. The lifetime Discord membership gives you an opportunity to be in a Discord group with me and also like-minded people as well where we focus on day trading together and we focus on learning. There's a library of 200 plus different videos out there with live trades, short lessons, long lessons. And you also get an opportunity to ask me any questions that you want anytime related to day trading, related to trying to learn new skills as well. And then there's also the other tier where you're looking for just the course by itself. It's normally $8.99. It's on sale 40% off right now to $5.49. And this is the very last day that I'm going to have it. And I'm not going to make any exceptions after that, no matter what, because I don't want this sale to be going on for longer than the seven days I've had already. And then I probably won't have a sale for a very long time, at least two months, I'm guessing, because... I want this course to be a little bit more reserved for the group of people that have it already. So definitely consider getting it, guys. It's one of the best courses that I've ever made. Actually, it is by far the best. It's I put in over 350 hours into researching to get the material that I wanted, to planning it, to writing, to recording, to editing as well. And uh, it's so well edited that you're not going to be bored. The quality is top tier, unlike my other courses, which were still good. But I definitely didn't put in the same kind of love that I put into this course because this course specifically focuses on a bull market. And you guys got to start studying, man. I'm telling you, if you're not studying already, then you're not going to do that well in the bull market. You got to spend years or months training before you get to the next bull market to prepare for it. They can be like an athlete. They don't just prepare like a week before, right? They're like training really hard, preparing for whatever event that they have way before the event actually happens. So you got to make sure you study and you know what you're going to get yourself into because if you're just thrown into the wolves, chances are you're going to fail. So definitely take a look at the link below and sign up with the discount code 40 discount, 40 discount, and you can get that 40% discount. Look forward to having a lot of you as my students. So let's get into the chandelier exit indicator, starting with what it is. So the chandelier exit indicator, it's by far one of my favorites, if not my favorite indicator that I use. I've been using it for about eight months now and I have only started to really specialize in it and started talking about it just a few months ago because every time you try a new indicator or you add something, like I'm an old dog, right? I'm an old dog and it's hard for me to learn new tricks because while I've been doing it my way for such a long time and I've been optimizing it for so long that it's hard to introduce new strategies. And once you introduce them, it takes a longer time to learn them, in my opinion, because why fix something that's not broken? That's how I see it. But the Chandler Exit Indicator was exactly what I needed to have in my repertoire of skills because it helps me identify longer term trends and it also helps me identify when the trend has actually changed. So the chandelier exit indicator is based off of the ATR, the average true range, and it uses a calculation that takes that ATR and then it forms a trend line that is trending to the upside or to the downside. It measures the volatility. It does not take the average prices like the moving averages or exponential moving averages. Instead, that green line that you see, which I'll turn only on for you and nothing else, what it measures is the volatility, and that's important to understand. It's also a lagging indicator, just like the moving averages, because it's taking a sample from the past. For example, the default setting that I have on here would be right here. Let me just turn it on for you. The chandelier exit default setting that I have is set to 14 and 3. So it uses a period of the past 14 bars, and then it takes the multiplier of 3. So whatever the ATR is, the green line that you see, it's taking the ATR and then it's multiplying it by three. So for example, if you take a look at the bull market from the beginning here of 2017, what you're gonna see is that in April of 2017, it starts to go from red, green, red, green, red, green quite often, right? You see that? So sometimes when it's trending green, it's telling you that it's volatile and it's trending to the upside. But then you'll see it actually turning red as well. 
See the red lines that are above it? So now it's telling you that the volatility has actually changed and it's starting to turn bearish. Now, it's not the best indicator to use to give you entries. Keep in mind that it's called the chandelier exit indicator because it's best to use to exit the trade and identify trend changes. So as you see in 2017 here, it's going green right in the middle here. And then it does a little bit of red and then now it's going green. And it just does this and it keeps doing this until eventually it just starts going and it doesn't really break that much. If you take a look at the ATR in the bull market of 2017, you'll see that there's gonna be one trend line that works the best and it's gonna end up trending below it, all of it. So if you see here on the weekly, on the weekly chart here, the chandelier exit indicator, it stays pretty much green the entire time. Do you notice that? So it stays green the entire time, which indicates a longer term trend. And it's just like EMA as well, where the greater of a time frame, oh, I almost dropped my phone. The higher of a time frame that you have the EMA trending is the same thing as the chandelier exit indicator as well. So if it's trending on a lower time frame, it doesn't indicate that great of a degree trend. But if you have it trending on a higher time frame, then it's going to indicate a much higher degree trend. So the greater of a degree trend we have, the greater the, the degree of bullishness that we have. So the ultimate goal is to eventually have it trending above the weekly. So you want the price action to be above that green line on a weekly. And that's going to indicate a very long term trend. So right now, if you take a look at the, the green, the green and the red on the on the three-day chart, what you're going to notice that in 2017, it goes green, red, green, red, green, red, quite often, right? Green, red, green, red, and sometimes there's gigantic dips, okay? But what you'll notice in common here is that eventually, for example, starting right here, starting right around there, it starts to turn green, and then it never goes red after that. It just keeps trending all the way from basically $2,500 all the way up to until it turns red, which is around here. So right around there, $13,000. So if you were to ride it from $2,500 to around that range over there, you would have made yourself a gigantic position. So what the Chandler exit indicates is that you can ride it until it changes the volatility. So then once this red right here shows up, up there, well actually right here, sorry, you could have wrote it for $600. So then this red line, it tells you that the change in volatility is imminent. And now because it was on an uptrend for so long with that green line acting as a indicator that shows you it's been trending upwards, you see now that when the red shows up right there, it indicates that the trend has now changed because the volatility has now changed. So it's basically telling you that, hey, this could be a signal that the momentum is now lost the volatility has changed, the coin is losing strength in the rally, and it's time for you to consider perhaps exiting out of it. Now, if we take a look at the next bull market as well, what we're gonna see is that in 2021, it does something very, very similar as well on the three-day chart. So if you take a look at the first fake out there in the round 20, 2019 there, it does trend above the, the three-day chart, right? It starts to trend right there and it goes upwards, but it starts to turn red right over there. So then after it starts to turn red, it shows you that the trend has now officially changed. And as you can see, it starts to kind of downtrend for a while where it goes from red to green, red to green. But eventually what happens on the three day chart is eventually it starts to turn green. Okay. And then this is going to tell you right here that the trend is now beginning again and it's attempting to stay bullish. So if you notice on the chandelier exit indicator in the last bull market in 2021, it goes all the way from the bottom price over there, which was around eight, nine thousand dollars, all the way up to these regions over here. So notice that it starts to show the first red around forty seven thousand dollars. So you literally could have wrote it for four X. Now, of course, it's not the best indicator to use by itself but it's good to use it in conjunction with, for example, EMA, Elliott Wave Theory, RSI, which is reading price action in general as well. So definitely don't use it by itself. But what I'm trying to let you know is that the three day seems to be the most significant one. And once the three day starts trending, it starts to stay bullish for a while. So even though it double topped there in 2021, you'll see it start to turn green around there. And then you'll start to see it 
turn red over here. So here you could have caught it as well, somewhere between 30,000 to around $50,000. So you could have made more than about 80% about there. So that's pretty huge. Now I'm not saying that every time it turns green, you should enter because what happens is a lot of the times when it turns green, it's already trending way above it. It's kind of like a golden crossover. You see it turn green, well, they trended way above it. And then sometimes it breaks out to higher point, price points and it comes back down. And oftentimes you're gonna see it even turn red and go well below it. So entering just because it says green, it doesn't mean anything. And what I'm referring to, what I'm trying to let you know is that this indicator is great to indicate a longer term trend. So it tells you that the volatility is being consistent for an uptrend and the momentum is continuing. And then what you'll see, for example, here, is that on Bitcoin, it starts to turn green. Oh, sorry, sorry, it starts to turn red. I can't edit this video like I normally do. I apologize, it has to be one take because I'm doing it on my phone, which I hope that the quality is sufficient. I think that the quality is actually really, really good for being on a phone over here. Now, this is the Samsung Z Fold 3. So it's a great phone, super powerful, folds in half, but the only drawback to this phone is it starts to crack down the middle after a year. And that's inevitable, doesn't matter how you take care of it, if you use it a lot, it's gonna crack down the middle and it's actually very annoying. And it's not worth like $3,000 that you pay for it to be quite honest. So after this one, it dies on me, I'm just gonna end up getting like a, like a high-end Samsung S24, whatever it is now, a days. So you see that it turns red over here, right? First time it turns red, around there. But I'm talking more so up over here where it's red, like right there, right? So you see it turn red over there and then it starts its downtrend and then it actually stays red the entire time. So let's just say you entered on a strategy of like this, where, where you see it turn red over here and then you start to see a trend line form around there. I'm drawing really badly because I'm on my phone. But you see that trend line? And then once it tries to get close to that chandelier exit indicator and it rejects and then it starts going down okay, it rejects right there and then it starts going down and breaks above the support trend line that would be a great place to enter a short position because now that chandelier exit indicator of the three day it's telling you that the atr is not really changing it uses the average true range measuring the volatility and that's important to remember it's not measuring the price it's measuring the volatility and it's telling you that the volatility is not bullish enough to break out of there so the volatility needs to be strong enough to smash out and that's the only way that the trend can change so if you notice that if you entered right around here okay on the breakout that would have been a great place and you would have basically rode it until you saw the first green so if you take a look at the first green it was actually right around there so you would have entered a short position around, say, um, $38,000, and you would have closed your short position right around $20,000, which would have got you like a 50% gain. That's pretty huge, right? So now we're seeing for the first time that the green chandelier exit indicator, it's turning green. And we've actually broken that long time bearish trend of the three day chandelier exit indicator volatility has now changed so it was not volatile enough ever before ever since we reached the all-time high to break out of it but now all of a sudden we broke out of it but remember that i showed you earlier that the three-day chandelier exit indicator can go from green to red green to red green to red quite often and it doesn't always indicate that it's going to start a bullish trend to the upside and start rallying hard what it more so indicates is that we're officially out of that bear season and we're now officially in a period where we're figuring out where the bottom is and when that bull run could possibly begin now i don't know if this is the bottom i can't even predict if this is close to the bottom i really don't know to be quite honest but what i do know is that there's going to be lots of movements to the upside and downside i think the both the bulls and the bears are going to get absolutely destroyed this year where we're going to have many fake outs to the upside and then the bears are going to take over and drop really hard and then the bulls are going to recover again and we're probably going to split it probably going to be three months or sorry six months of bullishness six months of bearishness is what i'm going to predict leading into the having in 2024 and then the having is going to be great like I think the halving is in May or June, correct me if I'm wrong, and then uh, I can just Google it after, but during the months leading up to the halving, it's going to be so bullish in my opinion because that's always what happens when the reward for mining gets decreased, 
right? That's scarcity. Scarcity is increased. The supply itself is decreased for what's being allowed, what's being mined. So because of that, the price is inevitably going to go to the upside. So we see here that this could easily trend just like before. I mean, if we take a look at before in, in the, before the bull market began last time, right? In 2022, look how many times we've seen it turn green to red, green to red, right? Green to red, like green to red. It's basically everywhere that you see it. But eventually what happens is it does begin the bull trend. Like here, for example, we see it only break one time from, from red to green. And then eventually it just turns red, or sorry, turns from red to green entirely. And then the bullish trend happened. This was a run that happened for 350%. So we never know how long this trend's gonna, gonna last for, but the ultimate goal is try to identify a longer term trend that's gonna help us make investment decisions. So for example, if this is bullish now on a three day chart, well, perhaps we can combine it with EMAs as well now. Let's say I got my 55 EMA and also my 200 EMA in here as well. And let's say I went to like, say a daily chart. What I'm seeing on the daily chart is that right now we're trending bullishly on the daily EMA of 55 and also 200. And we're also bullishly trending above the Chandler exit indicator as well. Well, if we combine it with other things such as the golden crossover over here, well, the golden crossover is potentially happening like in another month or so. So if the blue line, that's the 200, gets below the yellow line, that's the 55, a bullish crossover will happen. And perhaps a spike, and then perhaps a bounce off of it. Every time we see these bullish crossovers happen, uh, it tends to indicate that something major is going on and the bulls are taking over for a little bit. It doesn't indicate guarantee that, that the bull market began, but it does indicate that it's possible that we're gonna get a rally. So for example, if we see over here, it starts to cross over a lot, okay? So you can't rely on it entirely. Here, they all zigzag a lot. But eventually, what ends up happening is here's the next golden crossover that happens right there between the blue and the yellow. See that? The blue ends up getting below it. Then eventually, here is where everything is actually below the price. So there, the 55 EMA, the 200, and the Chandler exit, it's all below it. Right, and then it finally breaks the Chandler exit on the daily over here. This is so cute, check this out. This, there's a dog just outside of my window. He's shaking his butt at me right now. It's the hotel dog, <laughs> super cute. Anyways, sorry to get distracted there. I'm a lot less informal in this video than my other ones. So that's how I'm basically gonna use the Chandler exit indicator. I'm gonna use it as a gauge to see what kind of degree that we're trending. And I really think that you guys should add it to your repertoire of skills as well. For those that are interested, it's called the Chandler Exit Indicator by Evergent. And I go through this a lot in my course. It goes through like literally 24 hours, excuse me, 20 hours of lectures that's talking about the Chandler Exit and how to use it professionally in a very advanced way combined with the EMA and also other indicators as well. And that's all in my ultimate bull market strategy, guys. guys. So make sure that you're picking it up. There is only the last day, it's only 24 more hours that I'm gonna have this sale where it's 40% off from 1749 to 1049. That comes with a lifetime Discord membership. And also for the course by itself, it's normally 899, it's on sale for 549. So definitely consider getting it, especially the lifetime membership because, well, you wanna trade with me. You wanna get, you wanna be in my group. Let's be real, when the bull market comes and I'm trading seven days a week and I'm live streaming most of the days to show you guys exactly what picks, what coins I'm gonna trade, what picks I'm gonna make, etc. You guys will wanna be in the trade with me when I'm showing tons of profits and I'm probably gonna be one of the most transparent traders in the bull market on all of social media. So I think it's gonna be a great place for you to learn right now and an even better place for you to be when this bull market starts because I'll probably be working harder than everybody that is gonna be in the crypto space. So anyways, I hope to see a lot of you, my students. I hope that you've enjoyed this video with the Chandler Exit Indicator. Have yourselves a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye now and thank you for watching. Take care.